In a world where otters have duck bills and rabbits breed with deer to create super murder hoppers where everything is actively trying to kill you, the Iron Wombat does what he can to not fail so hard. And he's not doing well. Strap yourselves in for one wild ride and welcome to Iron Wombat Gaming. This evening, I am Iron Wombat, and this is Iron Wombat Gaming coming to you from Welp City in Australia. We all know where a B stick is here, it's a unit of measurement. Uh, without further ado, um, we are going to get stuck into the Old Republic. So let's get that live scene happening. And Gun. Okay. I have one of these things here while I'm waiting. background what? get into it
supplemental materials. So doing, oh yeah, I've got a new quest, we've got to finish off here, let me look at my inventory first. Into it. Get where I left off. Fish up at the foundry, and then I'll get my new mission from Darth Barris later. Truth be told, I'm gonna nash it up. Started. This is a public ship that we're about to leave to infiltrate the foundry and have words with a particular Jedi. That's why the doors are locked. We unlock when you. Okay, makes sense. Now let's continue and locked off. Hell, of, Hell Officer Martos. Helmsman, set course for the foundry. Yes, my lord. Laying in course. Any words to the crew before the assault? Turn back to Now we nice to him. It further up. This mission will be dangerous, but no one gets left behind. No one gets sacrificed. You have my word. Course set. Engaging hyperdrive. Transmitting authorization codes to the Republic fleet. They're allowing us to pass the blockade. <laughs> Approaching the foundry. Receiving transmission. This is landing control to Republic Cruiser Doran Sky. You're six hours off schedule. Is there a problem? We had to adjust course to avoid an Imperial patrol. Nothing to be concerned about. Understood. You have permission to dock. You can wait aboard the ship while we run the final security checks. Estimate two minutes until our fleet arrives and the battle begins. If I may be so bold, I suggest you take the offensive. The offensive? It's a good plan. It's a good strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it is. Oh! The missus has picked the playlist for the evening. Give me only one thing. There we go.
Oh, dude. Okay. Stick around. Side missions for extra experience. I don't mean anything right now. I'm just gonna try and get to this mission as quickly as possible. I'm now in the foundry anyway. <laughs> we'll stay behind to defend the step and dodge our escape route. Good luck. Take all the way through. Nothing to see here, assholes. Assassination at its finest. The Republic surrounded the foundry. We won't be getting reinforcements. Okay. You see a door opening, and they don't know where I am. Imperial destroyer fire lance has gone critical. The Republic fleet is holding steady. Yeah. This Jedi. Hey, here he goes. Saving these guys there. Good. 
Okay, at least it's an improvement on what I'm currently wearing. Still, okay. Uh, if we go, oh, oh, oh. Stealth. They must really know I'm here. prisoner now the man you've come to destroy you have my attention 300 years ago I found your empire in the stars and stood against the Emperor himself I was betrayed defeated I paid the price as the Emperor ravaged my mind over centuries but I gave him nothing I am proof that the dark side can be resisted not every Sith gives in to temptation I know the resolve of the light. Then you understand what I'm doing here. I've seen the Emperor's corruption. He and everything he's built must be destroyed, or the galaxy will suffer forever. You don't need to die with him. Surrender, and you can wait out this war as a comfortable prisoner. Talk to me. We can work for peace together. I've been betrayed one time too many. You leave me no choice but to turn the Foundry against you. These machines are extermination droids. My infinite army. Farewell. Put it on. Okay. Imperative. Extermination units converge on intruders. Psycholocutor and observer specialties report to yeah. technical control. That's HK-47. Those of you that are not aware, HK-47 was the assassin droid that you get in Star Wars Your Old Public 1 and 2. Awesome. The entire factory defenses. Objection. My master promised you would die horribly at my hands. At this rate, you'll perish well before then. It's a very crunchy. Assessment. We go. You have been exceedingly sporting during our hunt. I am HK-47, the Master's most faithful ally, once a mere assassin droid. It is now my burden and joy to command the Foundry's mechanical armies.
I didn't think Jedi believed in assassination, or built droids to do their dirty work. Commentary. I am not pleasantly surprised by my master's moral compass. The extermination droids are my master's crowning achievement. They are equipped with bioscanners capable of detecting Sith genetic material. Any organics with Sith ancestry will be slaughtered. This includes 97.8% of the Imperial population. Damn. This was never about winning the war. You're talking about genocide. Emphasis. 97.8% efficient genocide. Commentary. As much as I'm looking forward to butchering our enemies planet by planet, I have missed the personal touch. Your bones will make excellent trophies to commemorate my return to assassination. I can't remember how the fight with HK-47 went. Set to maximum. I hope my master will appreciate my efforts here. Face down. Oh crap. I shouldn't have been on that. Kills me. Alright. Uh, but then again. It absolutely demolished me then. Very frustrating that they just died instantly. Units converge. Okay. It's got that fight. There he is. Do that again, shall we? Commentary. I hope my master will appreciate my efforts here. I guess or improve on that.
this so fast. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe I missed that. It makes him larger. Let's try this then. Bumps twice. Okay, let's get back into it. People in the Keep in using the force. Better now that I remember how to fight this guy. HK forty seven. Extermination is then. Destroy these locks, and HK forty seven becomes a killing machine. HK forty seven will get the look out treatment. Extermination droids. down immediately. Dang. so fast you can't even see it drop. Fun. This thing 
here. Probably some more attention than it needs to be. I think it was out of hand. Forty-seven. This is where you die. Warning: excessive damage sustained. Yeah, that's right. Oh, there he goes. What do I get? You belt. Okay. Give me your belt. Let's move on. So we're gonna be all stealthy. HK47 is dead. With that being HK47, that can mean only one thing. Jedi. Other than Darth Revan himself. Three more Republic cruisers have okay. been destroyed, but they're not retreating. These things want to be killed. I see. They're not retreating because they want to keep the foundry. Star Forges. In the self mode. There would have been a boss here. What boss is that? Oh yeah, if I did all the solutions, the boss would appear here. Oh, I don't have time for that. That boss wouldn't have got me anything worth anyway. 
Can you hear us? They're using the Foundry's weapon system to hold back our fleet. You need to take control. Across the asteroid, which she was saying the Foundry was building the asteroid, all the way to the Inner Sanctum, huh? Okay, so these Jedi are going to be in a bit of a in, in for a rude shock soon. We've got droids attacking the ship. We can't maintain a comm channel. Okay, then don't maintain it. Look after yourselves. I'll take care of the rest. Sneaking all the way around, sneaking my way around, running through everything, gonna kick all their asses. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Or singing. Why am I singing? How am I singing? With my mouth. Okay, I might be going a little bit insane right now. Almost there. Once I take him out, I'll be able to move on. Here it is. The door to the inner sanctum of the foundry. That HK unit you destroyed. You waited loyally for 300 years. I can rebuild it. But it won't be the same. Can't you see you're on the wrong side? The Emperor is death. For you, for me, for the galaxy. Hmm. Listen to yourself. If you use the Foundry to exterminate billions, how are you any better? Yeah. I'm doing this to save lives, not for glory. I will mourn for the dead and do what I must. As a young Jedi, I went to war. I accepted violence and darkness, and the Emperor called to me from across the galaxy. He made me a Sith Lord and named me Darth Revan. Yeah, it's I him. killed for him. I turned on the Republic. But I have found redemption. On Drummond Kass, there was a cult founded in your honor. So I've heard. Not what I would have wanted, given the things I did. I nearly destroyed the Republic, and that nearly destroyed me. When the Jedi returned me to the light, memory was shattered. Okay. It took me years to track and confront the Emperor again. I tried to end him, and he murdered my companions and locked me away. For three centuries you've been steeping in hate. Now that you're free... All those years in his prison, I could feel him in my mind, drawing on my connection to the Force. But I was in his mind too fighting him. Only I've been both Jedi and Sith, and found clarity in the Force. Only I understand him, and his death is my responsibility. The armor of Revan. Okay. This isn't clarity, and this isn't your responsibility. There's another path. There was a time, a moment, when my destiny wasn't certain. That moment is gone. I've saved the Republic twice before. I've fought Mandalores and armies of the dark side. You won't stop me. Oh, yeah, mate. Phase before a power up for up moment. It's become more powerful than I could possibly imagine. Good lord. I almost died then. You got me right there, could have knocked you right off. Come on.
yeah, he's getting really close to killing me. I need to keep a uh, distance at an angle. Launching people with force pulls and everything. That's set my ass. Come on. Check him out. Who was he talking about then? Okay. Look at that part it later. It's probably a bit better than what I'm going with for me. with people. This is station control to the Imperial fleet. The foundry is ours. Fantastic news, my lord. We lost good men in the fleet battle, but we're mopping up the last of the Republic ships now. I assume the Jedi Master has also been eliminated. That Jedi Master used to be a Sith called Darth Revan. Yes. That's a matter we should discuss in person. As soon as we're secure, we'll conference with Darth Malgus aboard the flagship. You have my congratulations and my admiration. Fenir out. It's insane. Fix the area. Nobody better mess with us now. Plan of attack. Down I go. You're good to go. It must be had. A morph. The battle is won, my lord. The foundry is ours. And it shall be a fine weapon, once wielded properly. This is how the Empire will prevail, not only through superior armament, but through superior individuals. No other Sith could have struck such a blow or defeated the heretic Revan. You could have told me who the Foundry's master really was. Revan has followers within the Empire, 
and the secret had to be kept. I apologize if you feel ill-used. Three centuries ago, Revan was strong in the dark side. A fallen Jedi the Emperor took an interest in. But he rebelled and had to suffer. Now his story is ended. His mind was damaged, but he wasn't always lost. I could tell that much. Beware your sympathies. Our teams are going over the foundry. It'll take some work, but everything should be salvageable. Even the HK unit if we bother. It may have useful memories, and it could be upgraded. Regardless, we have a new army, and a victory for the ages. One to prove no would-be Sith or Jedi Master is a match for the Empire. Celebrations have begun on Dronan Kass, and soon the cheers of the people will become a battle cry as the true war begins. <laughs> We've hurt the Republic. It doesn't need to go any further. So long as one world resists, the Empire is not complete. Enjoy the fruits of your success. Sting. With your help, the galaxy will become a much different place. Think so? It's not a reward, that one. Oh, well, I'm gonna get a nice shadow, huh? We got a ship. Look at the map. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Galaxy map. Right, here's ship. Take me to Nar Shada. Oh, I just killed Darth Revan. <coughs> She's me. Her rest is gone, huh? Hello, ship. Yeah, I probably could, but I'm not gonna. The locator general. Where would be though? I am good to go. How do you say general in Spanish? General, like in, in the military, how do you say in Spanish? Pardon? General. Okay. So, um. That's just general with the Spanish accent. Okay, okay, okay. Can't argue with that. So bright. Oh, that's better. Whew. I'm doing this quest in the area. What do that? What are you still? I want to be riding my tricycle. Sorry. 
electrical pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay. We've got over here. industrial sector but I'm going low for some reason. Unless it goes all the way up. I know it's going down. So the industrial sector must be like at the very bottom and then there's a level above that. The lift. The safe house. This area is level 25. 38. Okay, this doesn't seem too bad. The main boulevard seems fairly friendly. We'll come back to later. Territory. Okay, up this way. Just there, gonna go stealth. In order for dogs to pick out my stealth. Count. Neat. Okay. Yeah. This is the safe house. This is where the Republic are. I'm not going to go through that door without murdering these guys, so... Right, you pop a murder. And you pop a murder. Cop murders all the way around, huh? They had to die. Okay. General Gon, I'm happy to report that Jedi Knight Zarinder has landed safely on Hoth. I saw to it personally. You're a valuable asset of the Republic, Frost. Someday the rest of the Chiss will follow your lead. The rabbit comes out of his hole. Nice to see my information was correct. Okay. Men, we've got trouble. Rally around the general. Protect our allies as well. I think I can guess who you are, Sith. For all of Darth Barriss' covert manipulations, you have banged around the galaxy rather loudly. Now Barriss has finally found me. I'll have to be more careful moving forward. Cease your operations, and I'll see to it you live. Keeping the fringe systems free of the Empire is more important than my life. Sith. You are Darth Barriss' apprentice? We... we know of you. This, uh... this isn't what it seems. What is it, then? Okay. I'm all ears. As am I. We, uh... cooperated with General Gon in order to learn, uh... what he was up to, so that at the right time we could betray him. Nicely played, Faust. You're a true lowlife. When this is over, so is our alliance. Abandon your station and live. Never! 
take this Sith down. Okay. Miss that like over reaching sweep at some point blank pain. Now force we're gonna have words. Who killed them all? Please, mercy. I we will rededicate ourselves to the Empire. What did you help Gone with? I I helped the Jedi land on Hoth, undetected. I believe he's searching for something in the Starship Graveyard wreckage, but that's all I know. Go back to the planet and try to learn more about this. Right, right away, my lord. Thank you for your mercy. Okay. That's interesting. Barris on women cars. I don't want to stay on half longer than I need to. Crying out loud. All right, what cars it is. was stuck for some reason. Okay, all right, go. Go to his study, I presume. Okay. Excuse me. On my bike, I am. Hmm. Yeah, got mail. Claim the left season rewards. Here, winning wars over the justice, but I have since realized that my things did not go far enough. This capture spreads to wayward members of my house. Okay, we are family again. When this war is over, we intend to call a summit to allow the houses to judge wars all their crimes. I hope the trial will show us who the ruler of the is, whether it be in our school or not. We've united the house and divide what's divided. Okay, and give extinction. Nice, I'll take that. Gregor Wilson. I never thought I'd say this to a but thank you. Ruff and I moved the drum cast. First, Carvin hated it. The lightning storms play havoc with her nurse, but she's beginning to come around. To protect, at least we're alive. Tomorrow we're going to meet a Sith named Doug Barris for question. Nature, whatever happens to Jessa, please treat it our daughter okay. I hope Barris kept them alive. General Stantle. Full. What do we got? 
for this play when you delivered the news of Gaia's fate. With my daughter, I neglected to think of my house. And, oh, he's brought out Roy the ship for his house. He wants me to keep it a secret. Okay. Oh, that's rude. Jorad Thul. Very rude. You further your assistance. Okay. Now let's um, collect whatever it is I got. Little credits. Okay. Is that there? Probably got all that mail and we'll continue. What is that? What is it? Oh, um, I'll have one. This one. I'm gonna wreak havoc with the gin I'm eating, but I'll have one. Little good. I like this. Okay. Welcome to Drone's Cross, where freedom goes to die, and legends are forced on the galaxy. Destination. Enjoy your stay. Gross. <laughs> the fiddle went in the wrong pipe. Stop that. <laughs> Oh, you make it dirty. Stop laughing like that. <laughs> Your wife has a dirty mind. Hearing what I'm saying. Over to Darth Bear ass. <laughs> See what um what he has to say. Probably I'm gonna have to go to Hoth next. Strong, but you could be stronger. Show no mercy. Look at now. There's some imperial troops there, and bear ass in his office. Barris, are you responsible? Was it you who took out General Gong? It was the general. The fringe systems are now ripe for the taking. Such an advantage will prop the rest of the council out of passivity. They will see war is the only answer. You have delivered to me what I most crave. Give credit where credit is due. Who dares interrupt? Barris, who is this? Yeah. This is my most accomplished apprentice, my lord, and the killer of Garm. Your destruction of General Gone urge you, my favor, young one. Today. I live in the moment, Vengeance. Good. Yet any moment may be your last, youngster. It is time. I will send my destroyer to the brain systems, and they will be mine before anyone is the wiser. The order is given, Barris. Enact Plan Zero. Vengeance out. Excellent. Sting. I have waited a long time for this order. 
Apprentice Plan Zero is the systematic elimination of the Republic's top military leaders. A preemptive strike that will leave the enemy headless. What kind of war will it be with so crippled an enemy? A short one with a conclusive victory. That is the point. I have been tracking of the targets for years in anticipation of Plan Zero. Okay. There's no time to waste. Make ready your ship. I will contact you there. Okay. Interesting turn of events. I'm gonna meet with the ship, use the ship's low terminal. I'm gonna keep running back if I can just do this. All that time saved. Would me any good justices. Apprentice, your targets are the Republic's six most important military leaders. There are two I must still locate. Admiral Monk, who commands the Republic fleet, and Jedi Knight Zarender, who leads an elite squad of commandos. But the other targets, the four generals of the Republic's strategic command, are confirmed to be on the planet Terrace. You must speed there immediately. I thought you said you were prepared, Barris. They will be found soon enough, Apprentice. You worry about Terrace. I will give you the particulars of your mission when you arrive. Barris out. This feels dodgy. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Terrace. On the bar, Queen, let's have a chat. My lord, I seek advice. As a military man, above all else, I value discipline, the chain of command, and uncompromising dedication to serving the Empire's interests. But there's a built-in dilemma. When my instincts tell me that a superior is jeopardizing the Empire, it makes my path less clear. That's the problem with the military. No matter what rank, no one should be above reproach. Okay. That has been a difficult lesson to learn, but it's tricky. The criteria to challenge a superior must never be softened. I stood by as Moff Broisk's random whims compromised countless missions. It is a mistake I refuse to repeat. Okay. Defying him ruined my career, but I should have done it sooner. No matter the consequences. If he made you this tenacious and exacting, you owe him a great debt. That is a startling perspective, my lord. Your example and guidance give me clarity. Thank you. I am more focused now. Okay. I have no complaints about your thoroughness or commitment. I'll never give you reason to, my lord. I won't take up any more of your time. Speaks to him like a manager has been trained to speak to his staff. Okay, got another wise in points. I've got to head to Terrace now. Sith world. My lord, I am preparing for my assault on Tyrus. Excellent. Your mission on Tyrus is to take down the Republic's entire strategic high command. The War Trust. The four generals who implement the bulk of the Republic military forces strategic planning are all on Terrace as we speak. Normally they're never together in one place. This is an incredible opportunity. It must be something very important for them to expose themselves like this. Right. Truthfully, I don't care about their agenda. The War Trust generals themselves are the true threat. Generals Ferrer, Mens, Durant, and Felker should not be taken lightly. Each will likely be protected by his own elite guard, and they have all the Republic forces on Terrace at their disposal. Danger only makes things more fun. Okay. Do not approach this endeavor frivolously, Apprentice. 
Your task on Terrace represents the larger scale assault of your career. Moth Hoden leads the Imperial forces on the planet. He will provide whatever resources he can. Shuttle to the surface and seek him out immediately. Okay. So before I do anything, I want to see what level Taris is as a planet. Because I'm level 39 now. I'm way too high level for the planet, so I'm not going to do the side quests here then. Um, but I will do the side quests in the next planet. So this should be fine. There's a corner shop here. There's some stuff in to get rid of. So junk. Get rid of all this. Hang on. Critical gain alacrity. Okay. Be well. Okay, got a dress. Do you oh, require boy. medical attention? No. Be well. You know what? I think of a way to Let's see what other outfits I have. Oh. Being weird. Okay, no worries. Aho. Ahoz. <laughs> I like it. Alright, um. I'm gonna need to figure something out. For the outfit. I'm gonna just, just use the outfit that I had before. I don't want him to be an evil guy. What was happening? Was your keyboard biting something different, were they? Hotel market. Yes? I mean, you know what, I could try this. Looks like Obi-Wan. and one up to places in the US people. Still on Croatia I had every time I left Ah oh, That's why. And I set them up sides because of the I've ordered those letters are used in the um, Croatian languages. Or any Croatian language. Makes sense. Reaver's armor set oh boy. You know what? I'm gonna see if I have other armor in my collections. So collected.
Enigmatic Heroes armor set. Herald of Zildrog, no. Ruthless Oppressors armor set. Okay, that makes sense. Just need to make sure I could be right armor. Some kind of access is it literally in the middle? Yeah! Oh man! Yeah, that'd be very annoying! <laughs> Um, and um, stuff. I'm gonna collect that. Get a new wardrobe. Add outfit. I need to throw money at this. Just for the character. Um, Outfit name. Um. Name should I give it? Staten. And for success, rename outfit. Unify the colors. Commit. Hit OK. There we go. That was intense. I think over here. Look, I could normally start a story arc for Taris, but it's not necessary. I'm too high level for this one already. So. <clears throat> Straight through the planet. be the room where I can chat about general murder. Morph heard in the cities here. Wow. What's that, Lieutenant? Oh, I didn't see you come in. You must be the Sith Darth Barris sent. Welcome to Talis. Try to pay attention to your surroundings. Had I been an enemy, you'd be dead. I have high confidence that my command center is well garrisoned. But I heed your point. I have never had cause to assist Darth Barris before. How crazy is crazy? Long been an admirer of your of his work. Sea of Thieves. And mm. yours, of course. I doubt he came all this way to be fawned on. Of course. May I introduce Lieutenant Pierce, on loan from one of our notorious Black Ops divisions. He is hands down my finest officer. I give you exclusive reign of him while you're on Talis, which I trust will Easy accommodate your every need. Lieutenant, your service okay. to me begins immediately. Good. Yes. Well, I will leave you two to your mission. As you proceed, if I can offer any further aid, do not hesitate to contact me. I don't want to contact I heard we're going after the War Trust. Did some homework. If that is the mission, I'm fully prepped. Direct and active. We'll get along just fine. <laughs> My lord. All four of the War Trust generals are here on Taris, which means something big. But they never show their faces. Got my hands onto a public scout, leaned on him, hard. He was setting up supply routes for General Frelka, the War Trust junior member. You're already proving to be a valuable asset. Good. The story checked out. Been scoping the area the scout described. Several heavily armed Republic supply caravans run along carefully staggered routes. A couple of dozen soldiers could hit the caravans, pull their transponders, triangulate their destination with the equipment here. Moff Hurden can't spare the manpower, though. Okay. 
I wouldn't trust Herden to tie my boots. Then it's up to us. You hit those caravans, I'll play Tech Monkey. Here are the coordinates. Caravans run daily, but they vary the timing. I'm sure you'll come upon them eventually. It's enough okay. and snap the transponders. I'll figure out where they're going. Should zero in on General Froker. Let's get out of here and then over into the the hunt. Oh, I changed my lightsaber for so how much money do I have? Not enough. Bicycle, I want to ride my bike. Open out some streamer guy with his grind who was getting ca um, Captain Galleon. And Galleon was basically half open crew. Aside from yourself and him, and one kid had basically fresh out of the tutorial and find quite a pirate legend guy who attained pirate legend back when that was hard. The game had no contents, so everything was new to him. Oh, that's awesome! That would have been awesome fun. Okay. That blows up. Let's, um, caravan transponders over here. Is this the way? This is the way. You know what? I'm just gonna be a little bit invisible. Just so that I don't have any attention. Because remember, I'm an assassin. Who's going through the Sith Warrior story, so this will be intense. Okay, so there's this asshole up here. I die, I'm going to haunt you. Okay. Oi! Stop that. There we go, now you're dead. One here. Let's go. That robot was never there. Have to commit huge immense murder. Just got to sneaky sneaky all the way and do what I gotta do. Stay at it. Nobody knows. Basically, a captain, your first mate in the quartermaster. A quiet pirate legend with the mic. You know, the mic was your main gunner. You even had a captain boy. <laughs> Turn. He's learning the ways of the of the pirate. It's been so long since I played it. Okay. Yeah, I'm putting CFDs back into the rotation in two weeks. Um, I'm just gotta figure out what day. I can leave it at Pirate Fridays and move the old public to Thursdays. Wednesdays will still be high noon shenanigans. Tuesday, I um, need to figure out a game, but Monday will still be variety game day. The Final Fantasy VII is almost finished. So I'm gonna figure something. Hey, asshole! Snuck by the, those guys completely, okay. That scout is a, doing a really shit job down there. So to that call. 
transmitting the Republic caravan transponder frequencies now. Give me a minute to retrace their routes, see where they converge. By all means, go ahead. Okay. My lord, triangulation's complete. Only one place these caravans could be going. Transmitting coordinates has to be General Froker's location. Tell me anything else important about the area. We beat the reps out of there a few months back. All we found were rank caves that pirates used to use. If they snuck back in, they're after something. Good hunting. Could be more than that. Could be using that as strategic advantage. Or to try and gain a foothold. Okay. Let's look past these useless Republic agents. We're there to scout the area, but this lone Sith is just running around. Actually, I wonder. Go to the outfitter. I wonder if I... Pants. Oh, no. Let's make sure the colors are unified. Anyway, okay, let's go through this way. We're down there. This should be lovely. It's gonna be quite lovely, it is. And then pirate cave. Yo ho, yo ho, pirates wait for me. Okay. That. Because it was really eventful. We did order ourselves, commissioned with. Let's just goals to pick up, and we did that whole ghost fleet battle. But let us go, and ships were sunk along the way. Christian saw a sloop with a noob flag going straight for us. We proceeded to absolutely murder them on cannons. <laughs> whoa, 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 let's see what they want. And then they just hear from the sloop, panicked and desperate. We're friendly, we are friendly, and shoot, and shoot. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no, the poor guys. Did you, um, <laughs> did you explain to them that they were pretty threatening? <laughs> like, how did you handle that situation when you got to them? These guys probably they're not here. Trying to commit as few murders as possible. Here we go. Gonna absolutely smoke him. Or are we? Roll them up into a cigarette. Light the fire. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got all the soldiers. We ain't fighters, just miners. Contracted miners at that. Where is General Frelka? He's the overseer, but he ain't exactly hands on. Hasn't been by in weeks. You gonna kill him? doesn't have to be violent. I seek a peaceful meeting. I see. It makes no real never mind to me. The Republic don't pay me enough to get in your way. Okay. Believe me. If I hit the silent alarm, Frelk will come with his personal guard. If that's really what you want, I can bring him here. If I wanted you dead, you would be. You go. I'm gonna trust you on that. Here we go. 
There, it's done. The general's been summoned. Now, please, just let us live. Get out of here. Thank wow. you, boys. Job's over. <laughs> there he is. Enemy sighted. Captain, attack pattern Ot 77. Then, pan out. Ot 77. Be ready to engage. Wait for Ot the general's order. Seven? Carmen Varl was picked up and confessed the Sith was here. So I was able to bring backup. I am General Alexis Frelka of the Republic Strategic High Command. Your incursion here violates the spirit of the Treaty of Coruscant. We have you dead to rights. Surrender. Excellent. I've been looking for you. Be careful what you wish for, Sith. It's unfortunate you've discovered our plans, but no matter. The wheels are already in motion. Our new technology will deliver armed superiority to the Republic, and I'm ready to give my life to defend this installation. Exactly what are you mining here that will provide such an advantage? You mean you don't know? Oh, wow. this is too rich. Men, this Sith must not be allowed to reveal our operation. Attack to kill! Trying to be as light sidey as possible, but this is very challenging. Especially when they're all like, Kill him! He's a Sith! Oh my goodness. I can't even... He wanted to kill me, so I couldn't leave him alive, I guess. It was self-defense. Defense of the self. Database. The focus finding materials for Project Cyanti. What was General Minst is in charge of receiving the minerals from this cave? General Minst is stationed at the dismantle reactor core at the sewer sector of Altaris. Choose function. Access Project Cyanti. Substance being mined here. This was a Jew from the incineration of the millions of life forms that perished when the Empire bombarded Taris. We we'll discovered a way to process this into a new powerful energy source. The full implications are still unknown. Yeah. The facility will self destruct in 60 seconds. <laughs> Off the bond facility to reduce their capacity to get such weaponry for the Sith or anyone else. Lieutenant okay. Pierce, I know where to find General Minst. I'm heading there now. Great news. I've got some too. Scout report. The battalion of War Trust General Durant is on the move. Odds are he's fortifying his position. Some of my Black Ops powers are back. We could have discreetly followed the battalion to find the general. What do you mean, could have? Well, Verdant sent a platoon instead, grounded me and the boys. His forces are engaged in Durant as we speak. He's killing our chances. Summon Herden into this conversation. I'll address him. Yeah. Hey Lord. Oh, I don't have anything other than I see what, Pierce what you see on the screen. I was hoping that guys um, were saying they're friendly. That's all I got. Has updated you. Thanks to me, General Durant's personal battalion will not be joining him wherever he is. Engaging the general's army was a rash and foolish move. Now withdraw and allow Lieutenant Pierce and his men to scour for General Durant's headquarters. Understood? Yes. Well, of course. I'll make it so immediately. My lord. We'll get yeah. something on Durant. I swear it. Good luck with General Minst. There we go. We are marching back to the entire server to see them with the red skull flag on their ship. I told them that if you see a ship that's small and you are smaller than the ship deciding to go straight in their direction, the bigger ship can interpret that as you are some salute PvP gods. That worked this time, yep. Yeah, got it all. Okay, where do they want me to go? To the high art. And here we go. Get 
to come through. Sneaky sneaky, get out of here. Very snake, very nice. I'm gonna shoot through here. Jump up. Cause the only way is up, baby. For you and me now. It was settled and after the little voyages and everything, we headed towards Morrow's Peak. We waited in the waters in front of the office for a full hour. Why? <coughs> Is it just blowing up everywhere with volcanoes? Or was there a bunch of guys there being dodgy? <coughs> yeah, that's exactly what I ask. Did one of the guys go have to leave or take a shit or something? I can't understand. Why did you guys have to wait tomorrow's peak it? Oh. You were waiting until Gold Rush kicked in. So when you sold, you made a mint. Well, I like that. That's pretty good thinking. Good thinking, 99. Where does it want me to go? Oh, up there. Oh, okay. It's not far at all. I'm gonna speed past. Good luck, everybody else. If they see me, I'm just gonna speed past. It's a. What are they called? Boss talkers. And they're drones? Hmm. 225 different water of souls voyage and only one of the. Oh, damn! Damn! That's a mod. That's a make a whole lot of money. You made a whole lot of money. Could have made a cool mill. Zero the flight path here. Actually, you know what? I need this flight path. At your service, my lord. You're taking me here. Travel route is confirmed. Alright, so now I'm invisible riding the taxi, okay? You'd be like, why is the taxi just flying by itself? What will you buy with it? It's done. Guess I'm stuck in still. Not many more. It's up this way, huh? Let's go. Halfway to get those. Oh, the Dark Adventurer sale. <laughs> I should have read that. But instead I was too busy trying to fly away. Fly to where I need to be. To continue the mission. Let's put station five. Seem is straight. I have to go this way, don't I? It <laughs> can just straight the hell off. Okay. Oh my god! All these rat ghouls. There's a lot of them. 
once humans, plagued by whatever everything that caused them to mutate into rackles, thanks to the bombardment of Terrace. And it was a proper bombardment. They obliterated this place. This all used to be Republic territory. Away. This is the way. What a drop. If I just ran through, that would have been a problem. That is. This is weird. But it does want to have a chat. Still, just have to dismiss her and then summon her again. You miss me? There we go. And yeah, I'm going in here. Keep myself for a bit in case I find a bunch of. People fight. They can't go that way. Map says this is the way. General. I'm gonna have to. Interesting, interesting. That coolant droid? I think it's just something that's just cool. Did you just shoot a, a needle into me? Terrible Wait. Oh, okay. So that was not necessary. I'm not gonna do that then. Yes. Public man, attack the intruder. I didn't even waste any time. Oh, little mints are just coward away. Let's have a chat with you, mints. Talk to me. Well, of course, I took them all down. Interpreting science, right? Let's uh, let's talk this through. Okay. Stop talking. We have to hand over my information, but it's, it's just going to take some time. I'm not a general mince. Grunt, I'm not going to die for this. It sounds. Uh, that is some thinking. Oh, so Why don't you start from the beginning? Yeah. There's no time. Mint deleted all the files about the project and then set the reactor to destruct. Mint's of destruct six countdown. Ask me to store you here. Yeah, listen. A power reactor will self destruct in five minutes. Please, General Mint, you'll let me. I agree yep. to your terms. The brother inside the reactor is fully out involved. It's the only place that will send a self destruct blast. So can you open the vault? It will take about a minute to put them out into the wall. Okay. The power reactor will self destruct in four and a half minutes. Save yourself, imposter. Go. There's the alarm. There's some... Uh, is it this way? 
Hang on, how do I get there? No, it's this way here. Oh, they all bailed. Okay. That's good. Huh? What a track. So epic. Self-destruct in 60 seconds. Go. Code sequence initiated. Sure hope that imposter was right. And that thing takes less than a minute. I'll hunt him down if this goes badly. Yeah, sure. Once we survive a reactor core implosion. <laughs> the reactor core will self-destruct in 45 seconds. Men, the enemy is accessing the fallout vault. Defeat the Sith and we can weather the explosion inside the vault. Okay. Oh, perfect. Now we've got company. Yeah, a little dead. Okay, good. Into One this. disaster averted. Now where are we on that sequencer? The reactor core will self-destruct in 10 seconds. Don't worry, we're not going to die. Eight, seven. Alt code sequence complete. The reactor core will self-destruct in five seconds. Alt lock disarming. Four. Alt door airlock releasing. Three. Alt open. Don't have to tell me twice. Okay, here we go. Bang, secured. Could have killed us all. Oh, so this is a good entail. This is a good entail. Trust a grunt. Request my advisor here. You must be a joy to work for. Piska cool. Stop for their leader. Oh my god. How, how is that not Sith like? Put Malia Pedwana Niopni Bobo Chek Chupa Goma. Piska Chanaga Ima Che. Chorang Chi. Important to our project. I had no choice. With the way sign tide is out of your reach. I'm not interested in your project, General. Just you and the other members of the War Trust. See, the others are safe to be on uh, your grasp. In general, Perry are working to make project science a success. Supposed to achieve work from prototypes. Report show to get me to compromise their locations. I'm taking you into custody, General. There we go. Moff Hurden, come in. I, I have a prisoner. There watching the Send whole men way. to this location to pick up General Minst. Ah, yes, immediately, my lord. What do you want me to do with him? Hmm. He is my personal guest. No harm is to come to him. Yes, of course. It will be done. Interesting. Getting a cat? Nice. You know what breed? Holo communicator call. He is here. Track General Duran's battalion. Led by Black Ops troopers on a recon run. Found Duran's hideout. He's got a full battalion guarding the compound. They're establishing a perimeter of electronic defenses around the general. Send me the coordinates. Coordinates sent. My Black Ops troopers and I were able to slip past the perimeter before they got the systems online. But we were spotted. We're taking fire. Outnumbered. Should be able to hold them off long enough for you to break through, but that's it. Sit still. This won't take long. Well, we're not going anywhere. Knock out those defense systems. We'll hold the position nice. for you. Or worst case, our bodies will slow have down. Have you got a charge. name for it yet? Proud to have served, my lord. Peace out. We 
good enough. Territory, you are now with the Sith. I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation of that um, name for the new cat moon. So I'm not going to try. Is it. No, wait, I'm gonna try. Is it. Musa? Uh, Musa? Musa? Is the accent uh, sound on it? One of the Korean dialects. Ah, nice. Wait. Hang on. I'm sure it sounds awesome in Croatian. But translating that to English, you're calling your black cat black. <laughs> okay. It's like in, um... Not really. Or a different kind of darkness. Is it more of a, um, like when you describe the dark side of the force, for example, like that kind of darkness. Because in that makes sense. Uh, I get ya. That's the thing though, because English is such a blunt and direct language and leaves little room for nuance if you were to translate it to English that's what it would come to but I don't know of any poetic word for darkness I don't know twilight yeah, probably not <laughs> there's, there's no nothing I can think of really I think uh, that's the wrong way all right, rat ghouls, don't worry, I'm just gonna leave you alone, you disgusting freaks in nature. Let's run! Let's go here. This city is too simple sometimes. That's true. I mean, using English to speak compared to um like you know for you um croatian and even like a lot of the baltic languages and dialects or for me arabic and all the arabic um dank dialects and semitic languages very complex it's like a, a new a million words for the same thing but using the appropriate context would mean something else or could mean something more specific to the situation whereas with english it's a little hard to determine um, how do I put it? Like, I think in Hebrew there's a word for love for every kind of love that exists. Like a love of passion for your spouse or love for your parents. They're different. Love for your friends is different. So you're able to interpret and determine which is what for whatever situation, whereas in English. Like you said, in all the simplicity when speaking it, at least. Um, you... Your only options are like and love. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's right. A hundred percent. Okay. And... I wish I could speak Hebrew. That would confuse a lot of my Palestinian relatives. Actually, no, it wouldn't. They all speak, a lot of them speak Hebrew as well. Am I going the right way? What the hell is going on? There's a path that leads there from here? Is there? No, not that way. Something is not right. Something is quite wrong. 
and so I'll follow this path. Invisible. Ah, you thought there was a Sith spinning towards you, but there isn't. He and Invisible. Well, I think the path is this way, actually. He's fortified himself pretty well. Well, this guy. He's uh, not going too bad. Oh, so he's Kata. You're getting, um... You're getting your cat uh, as an adult or as a kitten raising it from scratch? There we go, father. That was a interesting route to take. Everything you translate to English sounds like you were translate the names. Oh yeah, it can be a challenge. Like when um, I, I, I'm sure you would have experienced this when you were you were learning English as well, Moon. Um, well, at least like uh, for um, you know, Spanish, uh, German, and Arabic. In my experience, sometimes the word orders are in the wrong spot. So then the sentence structure becomes weird. I've got to tell you a story about something. And I should point out this disclaimer. Um, my friend's grandmother did not mean to be so racist, I guess. It was an accident on her part, the way that translated this um she spoke um serbian which uh as you are aware extremely similar almost identical languages um she was offering coffee to her uh new grandson in law right so her granddaughter married a fella of uh, maori descent so he was a uh, native new zealander Naturally, his skin was a little darker than everybody else. She was going to offer him a black coffee, right? You know the Turkish style coffee that um, we all ended up taking in the Middle East and Croatia and um, Serbia and Montenegro and all that? Yeah, you already know what she said, right? <laughs> Instead of saying, would you like a black coffee? She said, would you like coffee blacky? And that was probably the most offensive thing that left her mouth. <laughs> Ruined the evening for him. <laughs> so, if there's ever an example of why just learning the words in a new language isn't enough, you have to learn the structure of where the words go. That's it. That's the example you should take. Because stuff like that can and will happen. <laughs> oh man. It makes me giggle every single time <laughs> I hear it. Okay. Destroy that. See, I got a message in a hollow it's core. Here. They flushed us out. We're on the move. Lost a third of my men. The okay. We're getting the 10 to 1. Still too many. I'll try to rally the men. Hold the enemy off as long as I can. Pierce out. Pierce, he's sacrificing himself for like no reason. Okay, um. 
Let's be down this way. Feel invisible. Excuse me. Destroy all the laser gate controls. Oh, I was asking you getting um as a kitten or as an adult? So good. A very really nice track, actually. Oh, eight months old is fine. You don't want them to be too young um, that you're going to have dramas feeding them. You know, like it's a it's a happy it's a good spot. It's a good spot to be in. Okay, that one's down. Hang on. Take the holo communicator while that artillery droid's hanging back. My lord, the enemy is regrouping. I'm down to three men against about three hundred. Hope we can take out a whole battalion, but it looks like we'll come up short. When you see him, tell Durant. Okay. Visible. This way. The bus is commands. I've got no idea what's going on. The security gates are dropping. They're like, oh, better get maintenance in here. You guys. You guys are about to die. I die? I'm going to haunt you. Yeah! Boy, I can't ride this gunner. Huh? How is this even possible? Okay, that was just running through and he was just using invisible lightsaber magic, I suppose. Locate Beers. 300 men, huh? They must have been holed out. Oh, they're looting my good men's corpses, are they? Okay. I want to see me murder them. Hey, Pierce. Oh, somebody dead. My lord, I spent all my ammunition and I'm down to my last med pack. But Durant's battalion is down. Beast! So is the rest of my unit. Never seen men stare death in the face and fight more bravely. They did their job. Now the enemy is mine. General Durant and his guards have retreated inside the compound. Proud, I ushered you to the doorstep. So we've abandoned animals and nurtured them for production. Oh, what do they call them? Um... Yeah, we call them rescues down here, which I think is, is um, what you'd call them up there as well. There's an animal shelter. Yeah, we have one here. That's where I bought my dog. That's where I bought um, Shabby. No, was it? Yeah, yeah. I had a cat called um, Binks I bought from there too a few years ago. General Durant. There we go. I've come for you. I'm not hiding anymore, Sith. We delayed you long enough to achieve success. We've stabilized the sea and tide cells. Now, the Republic has a new power source that gives us the advantage in this war. I'm just here to take you out, Durant. General Frelka and General Mint's sacrifices won't be in vain. This blaster is the prototype, powered by the smallest sea and tide battery. You're about to see just how lethal it is. Everyone, attack. Don't you realize how strong I actually am, Durant? Been to animal shelter that would be not a bad kind of <laughs> yeah I, I, I know the one but yeah exactly it, it does come in like that though the place down here we call it the animal welfare league um one not too far from me actually you here we go not defeat general ferrer i would have spared you Life in chains is no 
life or the republic okay trying to save lives but yeah you know how they are i'm in a medevac transport arriving back at base needed to tap you darth barris has made contact i updated him i have him and moff herden on hollow for you Catch them through immediately. Will do. Okay. Prentice, your progress has been conveyed to me, and I've been briefed on the search for General Ferrer. Moff Hurden informs me that Ferrer has relocated all of the Republic's forces on Terrace to protect his command center at the Republic stronghold. Guess I know where I'm going next. First, yeah. you must convene with me. Okay. This assault will take all our firepower. I've summoned your crew to the base. They will all be utilized. And okay. I informed Moff Thurden that you are commandeering the entirety of his forces. Yes, right. They are yours to He's command. He's not happy Lord. about that. <laughs> nice to see you know your place, Imperial. I found the Moff to be extremely eager to accommodate. Rendezvous with Hurden, Pierce, and your crew at the Imperial base. There is much planning to do. Be okay. swift. Imperial base. Ooh, this is nice. All better. The interesting. Doesn't look too bad. I'll we'll keep this for now. Okay, now we're gonna go to the Republic base, but which sorry the the Imperial base. Which base is that? Oh god, alright, we'll go back to the forward elf and I'll fly there I guess. Uh it's my character. Can't even you know what? Forget it. One more command post where I'm going. Dispatched. Take me to oh over here. Hey. Uh, so yeah, that's, it's all every time like I do that. Like if I'm trying to learn something so new in a language, one of the monsters now. I always make it my business after hearing that story to learn the sentence structure. Because when, like with Arabic and English, like it was easier for me because I learned English in school, and, and my parents, when they spoke English um, before I was born, they understood sentence structure and where words had to go. Um, but yeah, when when I heard that story, it was like, why? Well, I can get away with getting a couple of words in the wrong order here and there, but no. Changes the whole structure. And even learning a language, you might see the letters and words as they are, but you've got to be careful with um, accents. I, I, I don't remember the sentence fully, but in Spanish, if you want to say my dad is 47 years old you will actually be careful because a couple of wrong accents and instead of saying my dad is 47 years old i'm saying my potato has 47 anuses so gotta be mindful <laughs> of accents too <laughs> yeah. Gotta be careful. <laughs> because Papa or Papa's is either gonna be Papa or Papa. Yeah. Potato or potatoes. Años or anos. What's a life hack? Here's my story. I am here. Let the war begin. Yes, time is of the essence. Mm. Lieutenant Pierce, Captain Quinn, bring my apprentice up to speed on our enemy's activity. 
Yes, my lord, it's a fairly complex situation. General Ferrer, the War Trust's most senior member, is garrisoned in a fortified wing of the Republic's main base. He's got a huge army protecting him. More reinforcements on the way. We're outnumbered eight to one. My lord, the lieutenant's statistics are inexact. The general thrust is sound. The numbers favor Ferrer. But there are ways around that. Um, me, me, Papa is with number 47. I'm going to use seven años. But what you say, my papa is 47 años. So, there, be careful. It's just a little pronunciation error and you're done. Like, yeah, trying to say intentionally? Yeah, I'll put that correct. You gotta force it out. Hmm. This is aren't exact. Aren't exact. The general trust trust is sound. The numbers favor fair, but there are ways around the attack. If you have a plan, let's hear it. Okay, here we go. Now, to maximize our chances, we must coordinate three simultaneous strikes. One will destroy the base's power station. Another will sabotage its spaceport force field to thwart any reinforcements. And the last will force the conscripted regiments of Ferrer's army to flee. Okay. What do these strikes entail? The details will be forthcoming, apprentice, but I do not need to hear them. All right. We'll coordinate from the base, and you will lead the frontline offensive. Beyond that, decide how to assign your men. Good Interesting. Line. I'm the best choice for frontline work. You need a soldier. I disagree. If the frontal assault isn't handled correctly, your route into the command center will be clogged with run-over battlefield soldiers, in my opinion. Jaysa should join you. She can use her power to see into the hearts of the enemy and identify the insecure ranks. I want Jaysa's insights on the battlefield. Very good, my lord. That leaves Pierce and Vet to handle the power station demolition and the spaceport sabotage. Sense. If the traps and mines that protect the power station aren't circumvented in time, you'll be under constant turret fire inside the Republic base. Vet, clear the way so the power station can be destroyed. Child play. Unless Pierce can lock the spaceport force field in time, you'll face Ferrer's reinforcements inside the base. Don't worry about me, Captain. Assaults have been assigned, my lord. Once you've cleared the way on the front, invade General Ferrer's command center at will. Let's get this war started. My lord, any final words for the troops? Today, we fight as one. I believe in every one of you. Join me in victory. Nice. If that doesn't inspire, nothing will. That seemed very I'll be generic. Attacks via hollow. Don't worry, Captain. The real soldiers have got this one. Wow. He really hates command. You know what it's like? It's like watching an employee get the shits with his head office. That's what it's like. <laughs> yeah. You know what it's like? It's like when your um, senior manager at work gives you an acronym-based um, performance motivational strategy. That's what it's like. And then you're supposed to go, yeah, you got it, boss. And you're only doing that because you want to keep getting paid. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is a Far Cry from Mass Effect 2. It's similar to Mass Effect 1 because Mass Effect 1 did feel very... Even though the script was great, it felt very, um, held back and withdrawn. Whereas Mass Effect 2 and 3, it really brought out, um, the characters. I think, um, how the hell am I going to get there? Ah, damn it. Alright, well, I'm going to just... I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride it where I lie. Definitely not the song that's playing now, that's for sure. Okay, and... Invisible. What was that? Bike? Nope, not even close. No, yeah, I don't know, in case you missed it, Moon, my character's having a light side, um... Uh, what's it called? A redemption arc. 
Okay. Invisible, invisible. Oh no, it's so much got cooked. Oh jeez. Yeah, so I decided to go for a redemption arc when I got to um Tatooine. When um he found his um light side reflection. I said, okay, the light side of reflection is going to convince him, but really kind of started when I was um, dealing with the sand demon. And I managed to get the skin without slaughtering it. So it was almost like um, esoteric was starting to see that killing wasn't always the answer. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I started off full evil and being a dick, and I'll bring him back up. The light side. Because I think a good story's got to have a redemption arc. Shit. Um, watch out for those things. Like, I didn't want it to be a redemption arc where his friend died and he was like, oh, I'm really sad. Blah, blah, blah. I wanted it to be, like, different. Because when he absorbed the light side of him, this is how I got it to be. I was like... It was convincing him there's more power. And you know where this hit the raw is searching for power? So he was like, you know what? Yeah, I can see value in having more power. <laughs> and then that's how he is now, the way he is. Oh, this, this droid is getting his ass kicked. Uh, this is the way we go. Yeah. There's Jason. Oh, here we go. The enemy is sighted. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> Sit, you are massively outnumbered. You will not invade General Ferrer's headquarters. Turn away at once. Jason, use your power and scan Ferrer's forces for the weak link. Right away, my lord. I sense much strength and conviction in most of these men. Wait. There. An entire column of soldiers who are forced to be here. Concentrate the attack on them and they will run. Lead the assault against the conscripts, Jason. Make them flee. Men, follow me. Attack! Make them flee? Like, nope. It, scum. We still have numbers. All attack! Yeah, you don't have enough numbers though. You seem to be forgetting some. Oi! Stop that! Leave him alone, Major Horlet. Let's say you pronounce it. KH is in English. Thanks, Jaser. That was easy. Take that lucky coin. Yo. My lord, I have updates from the other fronts. I'm pleased to report that the Republic power station has been destroyed. That went through their tracks like they were infant toys. From her report, I doubt anyone else could have achieved it. You were right in assigning her to strike the power station. I will reward her for a job well done. If she puts her mind to it, she can be a very valuable asset. It's not like security bad. systems down. You'll endure no automatic turret fire on our way to Ferrer's command center. On the other front, Lieutenant Pierce was able to sabotage and lock the Republic spaceport force field controls. Pierce has proven himself up to every assignment. The credit is yours for identifying his strengths. Still, okay. the General's elite guard clogs the way to the command center. They are quite formidable. There's nothing I can't handle. Right. I have great faith in that. There's no time to lose, my lord. Forest command center awaits. Good luck. Forest command center awaits. All right, Chaser. We got this. We're gonna beat their asses today. Gonna kick their asses. This is the hey. He's down there. Oh, oh. 
so um, I'll kill him. Yeah. How you doing? Spin to me. The light goes out in their eyes. <laughs> ah, there's General Frey. Let's have a convo. Let's see what's gonna happen. It's time for you to join the rest of the War Trust, Ferrer. Quite the contrary. After you took down my fellows, I knew my only chance was to delay you. And my gambit has paid off. I okay. bought enough time for my technicians to solve how to stabilize sea and tide cells of any kind. The future is upon us, Sith, and you have the privilege of bearing witness. Hey. Okay. Sighted. Weapon systems targeted and locked. Very quiet, droid. All this posturing is unnecessary. Until now, it's been the Empire that enjoyed flexing its muscles. With this new okay. power source, it's our turn. See inside technology source. increases the strength of whatever it powers tenfold. The Republic fleet and arsenal will make your weapons obsolete. The Empire will have no choice but to surrender. Which you should do. You hit now. that point in the story. Oh, that point? I think you know what point we're talking about. Um. Escalation. You know where I put it. To peace. I've abandoned such naive notions, Sith. The Empire prepares for war. I think it's better and if you say. cannot stand idle. Troy! Actually, no, I can say, you don't know, I normally forgive him, normally, but we'll see what happens, it's been a long time since I got to that point, you know, a very long time, okay, so, I don't know how you think you're gonna lose with me with this boy, I won't forget it, it's gonna, Anti technology for what? For nothing. No influence game. That'll work better with that. Be a nice one then. Oh, yeah, definitely. You <laughs> treat him like garbage after that. You are beaten, General. I can't believe it. All this work. All this death. For naught. I wish I could yeah. sit around and discuss where I went wrong. But a good leader always has an exit strategy. Is he gonna bail, is he? No, he's not. Ha <laughs> ha! Bang! Not Here's so fast, the rest of my General. team. I thought you might try to run. I can always count on you, Quinn. I surrender. Oh. I expect to be afforded the treatment promised to prisoners in the Treaty of Coruscant. No harm will come to you, General. Yes, well, I will gladly take the General into custody. This guy. Oh. That moth. Congratulations it's on the success painful. of your mission. Taking down the War Trust is an incredible victory. It is clear you are the future of the Empire, and I hope you will count me among your closest allies. If I, need you. I may call on you someday, Hurden. Your unquestioned obedience will be expected. Well, yes, of course. You can count on that. As a show of support, I place Lieutenant Pierce under your command. He will be invaluable in your domination of the galaxy. Nice. Works for me. Done what I can here on Terrace. Glad you're willing to let me go, Hurden. You're meant for greater things, Lieutenant. With me, you will fulfill your destiny. You won't be disappointed. Better not be. Better not be. Lieutenant Fallin, I will brief you on how things work here when we are back on the ship. Oh, Can't wait. He hates that so much. He really hates working with with Imperial Command. All right, ship's terminal. Here we go. Off we go. We're gonna sip.
Andy. Award Trust Dismantling has been your finest hour, but a new challenge arises. One of our missing targets, Admiral Monk, has revealed himself. As you may recall, my master, Darth Benjamin, set off to conquer the fringe systems and inspire the Dark Council to reignite the war. Somehow, Admiral Monk caught wind of the plan and was waiting in ambush. He is laying siege to the flagship as we speak. The plan was secret. Do you think there's a leak? Information is a funny thing. It trickles in unexpected ways. Leave those concerns to me. Plan Zero calls for Admiral Monk's head. This may be our only opportunity to crush him. Our flagship is commanded by Moth Maskin. Fly to the space battle immediately. Board his ship and stop Admiral Monk's siege. Spiel sucks. Very sus. Okay. I'll talk to all my crew first. Jason. Master, may I break character for a moment? Speak as a Jedi. Say what you must, but do it quietly. Of course. There's something I must confess. As a handmaiden on Alderaan, I was surrounded by the falseness of nobles and their political agendas. I could have used my power to expose it all and bring a corrupt system to its knees, but out of fear, I held back. They would have found a way to ruin you and continue. Politics cannot survive without deception and manipulation. Wait, but we're trying to gain power and influence within the Empire in order to affect meaningful change. If you're saying the politics of Alderaan can't be changed, what hope do we have? We will represent the Empire's evolution, and evolution is inevitable. Your words inspire me, Master. I've seen the results that your actions bring. It gives me hope. Still, I know myself. There's some of that Alderanian handmaiden left in me. And I can get discouraged without tangible progress. I promise we will build towards success. Promises are a good start? Please bear with me, Master. I have much to learn. Then it appears. My lord, drop my things in the crew bunks. Good ship. Okay. Quinn's already briefed me. I'm handling demolitions and heavy firepower support. Didn't know the captain ran things around here. I'd rather take my orders direct. Quinn handles the details, but you answer to me. Here we go. Fine with me. Just keep Captain Protocol off my back. Moff Hurden was all about regulations too. War Definitely like a true politician <laughs> Hurden didn't think a soldier 100%. could strategize. Proved him wrong. Hmm. Erden was a fool to ignore your natural talents. Doesn't matter much now. I'm here, and Erden stuck on Taris. Give me the freedom he didn't, and you'll see results. The others will tell you. I accept only the best. Shouldn't have any problem fitting in then. That's cool. Thank you for your words. Next person I'm going to have a conversation with. Will be uh, Viet and then Malavai Quinn. Hello, Vet. You've got a serious look in your eye. First time for everything. Okay, so I've been thinking about you. About me. About all of that. You're a super powerful Sith Lord who can have anything he wants. I'm a former slave and a thief. And you chose me? Seriously? You're beautiful, charming, sometimes crazy, yeah, and always exciting. What man wouldn't choose you? Um, yes. Speechless. To be continued. Yeah, you bet. Until later, then. 
Yeah, later. Let's keep talking to her. I don't want to oppress her too much. What's on your mind? Nothing. Why, you expect me to be all mopey? It's too nice outside. <laughs> Let's play two truths and a lie. I tell you three things about me, and you tell me which isn't true. Maybe you haven't been paying attention. I win all contests. Okay, here goes. I've been in jail 16 times. I've got three sisters. I've worked as a hired assassin. Which one is a lie? You only have one sister. Go. Yes, Tiva. Good job. I'll have to try something a bit more obscure next time. Okay, enough games. I wouldn't want someone to start thinking the Sith were getting fun. Okay. I don't even remember that interaction. Am I missing something? Ooh, maybe I sucked up the romance thing? She, yeah, 16 times she's been in jail. <laughs> she doesn't know how to relax. My lord, I'm receiving reports of a failed military incursion. It seems one of our special ops battalions was following shaky intel and walked into an ambush. Okay. We're the only ship in the sector that can relay their distress calls to high command. Permission to transmit their coordinates for extraction. Do it yep. immediately. Yes, my lord. Hopefully the consequences of this blunder can be lessened. Except. Here, intercept Darth Vengeance flagship. Okay, let's do this. Space battle. to fight the dodge, melee, and ranged abilities. Next time. Oh. You bet to come out. Good to stretch the old legs. Be the hardest hitting one of everybody right now. Soldiers would do well to keep this fight up. Ah, oh, fine, I'll kill them. Oh, did I heal her over here, huh? Looking at them badly for me. Couldn't make this fight. Oh boy. That's help. Yeah, I didn't think it's a fight I should have picked. Just bear. Try to hear she hits like a bus. Visibility. Yes, yep, that was it. Definitely a dumb way to die. Die. Way to die. So many dumb ways to die. Excuse me, pardon me, sir. Yeah. Just going to, uh. Um, excuse me. Just going to look across over here. Yes. Run along now, vet. It's not our battle. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Alright, here we go. Is 
Yes, Public scum. Oh, Vengeance is on this ship. Bert, are you coming? Alright, I guess we're fighting something. I can't do that while I'm in combat. Who's she fighting? Can't even dismiss her. Hang on, see if I can log out. Log back in. Can't do that while in combat. The hell is going on? Do I kill something or? I'll kill these droids. I had to kill them. Uh, combat now. Go. Why is it suck here like this? We have to kill everything here. To bring it just to pull me out of battle. Oh my god. Did I? And that's where it is. Does the companions as well, yeah. So when you got stealth turned on, the companions turn invisible as oh my god, I have to kill everybody. Assholes. Are these the guys that accidentally picked the fight yeah these are. That's where the marker is. Making me friggin' activate combat, you're still alive. Jeez. There's a whole unnecessary killing, and you. Well, it is Darth Vengeance ship after all. Okay. This way. Here. Talk to Moth Mask and Sith complaining about killing. Yeah! <laughs> I'm tainted. I'm tainted by the light side. Ah, oh, I didn't want to have to kill you. It's like a weird complaint to have. Come on, man. I'm trying not to kill you. And here you are, giving me reasons to commit murders. Don't understand why you insist on dying by my light blade. Lightsaber. Laser sword. Moth Maskin, I presume. Darth Barris sent me. I've liberated your ship. Where is Admiral Monk? Well, well. Come to inspect the scene of the crime, eh? Admiral Monk and his top men jettisoned down to Quesh. I'm so sorry you missed him. Are you here to deliver his reward? Offer congratulations? What are you talking about? This was a secret attack, yet I come out of hyperdrive to find the Republic's most decorated admiral laying in wait. 
Admiral Monk had my force field and docking codes. This stinks of a setup. I suggest you clean house and find the rat. This was no Imperial leak. Your master's master is Darth Vengeance. Barras manipulated him into this attack in order to ruin him. I've had a belly full of Sith in fighting, always undermining Imperial operations. Okay. That's why we have yet to crush the Republic outright. I don't have time for this. I have to hunt down Admiral Monk. Don't you turn your back on me. You are going to oh, answer wow. for this. Men, kill the Sith. Darth Vengeance will reward us. Okay. Oh, you're thinking that your guys are gonna survive this under literal Sith Lord I took out a whole bunch of people so Barris is planning something dodgy very interesting very interesting indeed Trail to cash huh Travel to Cash. Let's get the galaxy map. Back to my ship. Cash is a very small planet by comparison. Okay. Let's see what level Cash needs to be. Yeah, it's all really high level for this area. So I'm gonna just do the main story on Cat. This reeks of sabotage. Okay. Yeah. Down we go. Can turn on subtitles the preference menu. Thanks, game menu. Okay. okay from here. Take this lift down. My spit is moving real quick, that's good. There, buy my garbage. Please use all products only as intended. Cash, I will not go. Doing the best the story arc. Um, the Bounty Hunter run, a little bit of it here and there. But it's my next story run when I get a chance to. But I think I want to play that one offline. Because I've already got a lot of games I'm going to go through. Must be knocked out by the medical officer where you can travel to the surface. Oh boy. I've got to talk to old mate over here to get the inoculation. Here is fun. I hear the Imperial agent is really fun too. Here for inoculation. You'll need form 1423 slash D. And uh, oh excuse me. Sorry my lord, I thought you were another recruit. No paperwork required. I take it you're here And you hear was a Sith immediately by a costume. For your own good, curb your curiosity. Understood. Mm. Whatever your interests, just know that this planet's not safe. Quesh is highly toxic, poisoned by the resource the Republic's mining. You'll need a protective injection just to survive. Let's 
also get good money. Damn, that's great. Okay. There you go. That treatment will protect you for the time being. Stick me again, and I'll give you my signature treatment. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I was just following protocol. The effects will fade eventually, but you can receive more treatments planet side. You're cleared. Talk to Moff Drayson if you want to fight. He's in charge of the Empire's war effort. Except the reward. Whatever. We've got a class mission. Go to the Imperial Garrison. Over there, you'll find that there's plenty of shit to get you off to. Lips are terrible, aren't they, Vet? They always bring me down. Bam, bam, bam. Over here. Listen, Vet, I have something to say to you. I'm going down. This lift. We're gonna rush the assassination situation on this gaseous mission. I'm just dribbling shit right now. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Yes, that's right. Toxic planet. So instead of using my animals, I use my bike. Because I want to ride my bicycle. This is the only, this main part to be the best way to get here then. I'll follow the main path. We're following up that main path to get to where I freaking need to go. See you later, harpies. We're into the harpies. Hit me? No, we have to. Oh, 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 oh. Is it, am I going to be dismounted? No, I am not. Hey, assholes. You're going to dismount me. Oh, you're going to slow me down. And. No, nothing. You ain't got nothing on me, guys. <laughs> Step. I could have taken a. F Speeder here, huh? Well, that's annoying. But we're here now. That's what I imagine the um, noise that it makes. But it's not, it's not like a jet engine. These mutated lobels. What do they look like? Ugh. Yuck. Entering the story area. There's one Republic Sentry, two Republic Sentries. Let's 
be lame. Let's see if I can't. Okay. What does Barris think he's doing? Sending you here after me. Interesting. Is he trying to make it look good? Give himself an alibi? Because you can tell him mission accomplished. What's going on? Almost all of my men are dead. You've done a great job making this look legit. Now back off. You're in league with Barris. Aren't you we smart? Go. Yes, of course, idiot. These are my senior officers. We all defected over a decade ago and have been working for Barris since. But Interesting. Wait, he didn't know this. He didn't tell you we were following his command? I don't question my master's orders. You should start. This is foolish. We've been loyal to him. Our covers are intact. Why would he destroy something so valuable? This is the eventual fate of every spy, Admiral. I suppose you're right about that. But he can't think that we're going to take this line down. Men, our master has decided we're expendable. Let's prove otherwise. Okay. Oh, he's trying to flee. Just side trace. Barris is being mad dodgy, hey. Shit, bet. I'm gonna have time for this. Well, the powers at play. Just kill these guys because I'm in battle still. I bet you did a good job, but now it's my turn to just spin to till the light goes out of their eyes. Okay, monk, let's have a chat. Blind, obedient lapdog. No one's safe with Barris. Not even you. Comes with the territory. I hope he dies a painful death. Thing. Hmm. Turn of events. Use the ship's hollow terminal. I see. Well, I'm done in this place anyway. Galax map. Back to the ship, I guess. Someone has been a bit dodgy. He's being a bit dodgy indeed. Okay, let's see what we can do. There we go. My master Darth Vengeon is distraught. With his covert attack exposed, the Treaty of Coruscant has been broken. Okay. Apparently, Moff Maskin did not survive Admiral Monk's ambush. What happened? Admiral Monk must have killed him. Is that so? How interesting. Well, at least you avenged him. What's important is that you accomplished your objective. The elimination of Admiral Monk it is a major blow to the Republic. Now, the final Plan Zero target has been discovered. The hunt for Jedi Knight Zerinder takes you to Hoth. Contact me when you arrive. Jedi Zerinder. Okay. Might have been the Jedi Knight I was dealing with before. I'm going to have to check my staff. Hey, Jaysa. Master, I should have requested an audience with you some time ago. I have exciting news. Interesting. In an effort to pull my own weight, I've been reaching out with my senses. I'm becoming aware of other Sith who operate in contradiction to the Empire. Okay. How do you know this? As I train and my sense of purpose becomes clearer, I find I'm able to scan entire planets or even quadrants of space. Awesome. As my senses reach out, I recognize certain signatures, several that are like looking into a mirror. I'm seeing the same insecurity that I feel as I feign loyalty to the Empire. If there are others like us, we should find them. Continue your efforts to locate these Sith and confirm their nature. Thank you, Master. Okay. It might take some time, but I'm on it. Sips. 
Next spot. Let's see if I have a chat with Bet if anything changes here. Sometimes I think it's just better to be born male. At least if you're a slave. I keep thinking of Tiva, my sister. She wasn't strong enough to work in the mines, but she got more beautiful every year. Mother tried to hide it with mud and filthy clothes. She was afraid that if Tiva was discovered, she'd be taken away for other work? Oh, well. Other work? That's putting it nicely. Yeah. Anyway, I've got some credits put aside, and I want to hire a tracker to find Tiva and Mother. I just need to use the Imperial data files on board. Get some leads for the tracker to start with. That okay? Of course, Vet. Whatever will help. You're the okay. best! Okay, next free moment I have, I'll start running some searches. Stuff. And then I'll have a chat with good old Malavai Quinn. Quinn, let's wrap. My lord, I've been tracking a series of broken Imperial signals on an encrypted channel. Tremendous interference. I've identified the source, Major Ovech, commander of Moth Broisk's elite infiltrator unit. But that's all. Strange, that name continues to pop up. Okay. Yes, Moth Broisk oversees a large proportion of Imperial forces. I served with Major Ovich under Moth Broisk. The man is an unmatched officer. Moth Broisk's command ship does not respond when hailed. My gut says there's trouble. Permission to investigate further. I know you wouldn't waste time with anything that wasn't important. Thank you, my lord. Go. My lord, I was able to clear the channel and get to the bottom of Major Ovich's relays. He's in a state of emergency. Patching him through now. Okay. My lord, your captain there is one in a million. I've given up hope anyone out there would hear my distress calls. He's proven himself invaluable to me on many occasions. Wish I still had him in my detail. Probably would have avoided this. Moth Boris dispatched me and my officers to a secret weapons warehouse on Cato Nemoidia. Trouble is, it ain't a secret no more. We're holed up, surrounded by Republic forces. I'm trying to get Boris to send the rest of my unit, but he's gone greedy, Simon. It's worse than that, my lord. The Major's ship has been commandeered by Broisk's personal commanders and ordered to stay put. That is it. I've seen it a hundred times with Broisk. Better the cut, bait, and let good soldiers die than admit a mistake. Sounds more like Broisk wants you dead, Major. Any idea why? Same reason he demoted and exiled your captain, I'm guessing. I'm his only officer who's not shy about my opinion. I he see. Pausing between breaths, gearing up to charge again. Looks like the end of the line for me. But I'm not going out without a fight. Ovech, out. My lord, Major Ovech would be a terrible loss. I served on his ship, know it like the back of my hand. I can infiltrate and try to restore command to his men. Then they will be free to join the fight. Why are you still standing here? Go. <laughs> yes, my lord. Let's see the outcome of this. I always I forgot how this turned my lord, out. Returning from action. Pleased to report, Major Ovech and most of his officers have been saved. I was able to infiltrate Ovech's starship and seize control of the operating systems. I identified where his men were being held, freed them and locked Mothroisk's occupying force on the bridge. Ovech's men promptly rescued him. The Moth must be pitching a fit. How does it feel to thwart your nemesis? My lord, I merely ensured that the great asset of the Empire wasn't squandered. Nothing more. Okay. And thank you for the opportunity. I'll return to my duties. Is there going to be more conversations about Mothroisk? No? Okay. I think that's going to be a wrap for this evening, guys. I uh, would love to thank you all so much for joining me this evening. Music is brought to you by Pretzel Rocks. Pretzel is the music streaming service you want to get your hands on when you uh, want to stream DCMA free music and well, DCMA free on both Twitch and YouTube. So if you're interested, get your hands on it. The information is in the About Me section um, on my Twitch channel. It's also in the um, video description on the YouTube video when it goes live. Uh, if you're lucky to see it after it's live. Um, 
Now, for those of you on my Twitch, um, you can join my Discord, and you can also follow me if you haven't followed me already. Uh, well, here we go. And those of you on Twitch, here's the information. Get your hands on all the VODs. But that's it for me for this evening. I'm going back to full-time streaming in two weeks. Uh, and I'll bring another a whole set of new games as we go through. I'll explain the dates and times um, closer to the date when I figure out when I want to do certain things. Anyway, guys, that's it for me for this evening. Thank you all so much. Just remember, I'm on Wombat. This has been on Wombat Gaming. So remember, it's a basic between death and glory. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow and subscribe for more content. See you next time.